Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate, where I am joined by Bundeswehr Bob, Commissar Roach, and Benjamin Magnus. Hi, guys. <laughs> and Benjamin <laughs> Magnus. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm yawning a lot. <laughs> Way too long last night. Did you say you were doing karaoke last night or something? You said you lost your voice. Uh, no. Screaming 80s tunes or something like yeah, it was a like time machine thing where they had music from 1954 until 2017, and I rather enjoyed the 80s. It was like one minute per year. Ooh, domestic approval rating flat 30. Oh no, well, the Island call. thing didn't. <laughs> that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody there? Well, there was <laughs> Just... a garrison, but that was it. All right, all right missile time. Wait, can oh, I build anything here? Oh, the supply's not a there whole, yet. Whole bunch of, a whole bunch more shit. They're mad! Oh, they're mad! I'm sick it. Yep, they're doing it. Bob. They're pissed off! <laughs> Farming more experience! My, 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 uh, my, 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 Bob, piss him off again. Uh, why does everybody want to sell me industrial? Probably because you're building stuff. Yeah, I, well, I've, I've, I've been building so much stuff this time around. Tons and tons and tons of building. I've built like a hundred, like a hundred. What? what? No, why are you all Actually, leaving? You should be coming in here. Where are you going? No. Not I specifically really. told you to go there so you could fortify the island. Where are you going? <laughs> Come back, you assholes. Alright, so... Do... Let's just do one... Is that so no from, from Trump? Uh, well, there's not going to be a supply. It needs to propagate from that town that's there first. It's not a big town either, so it'll take a while. It is. Just, but once that's done, we build like supply depot, barracks, air base, all that, all, all the toys, you know, integrate air defenses. It'll be a really well fortified village. Oh, what the fuck? Unit construction. Why am I getting notifications on that again? Because uh, uh. you wanted some stuff built, clearly. He built one unit. He just did one thing that time. What the fuck did you build? Son of a bitch. Where is it? <laughs> Send it right back to the factory to be disassembled. Where are you, you asshole? <laughs> he seems to have stopped. Construction. Doing the doodles. Maybe there wasn't enough supply in that area to get industrial? Maybe? That'd be a th thing? Could you not construct something if there wasn't enough supply in there? Correct. So you need to have supply there in order to build anything. Will I make Germany great I mean, I again? Supply. I Germany is pretty awesome already. I mean, I had, I had to. I was forced to conquer France, so... <laughs> So, um, somebody asked, aren't supply units apparently they're for everything? They're for everything. I mean, think of them more like a warehouse, really, than a supply depot. Because I, the only supply depots I built were along the Magnus line. I mean, that's so definitely a good more. place to put them, for sure, but, uh, um... Anywhere where you have a lot of production going on, like, you know, masses of oil fields or ore or farms or timber, really any resource where you got a lot of it going on, as well as, like, your production facilities, you know, like your industrial goods, military goods, consumer goods, you know, anywhere where you got a lot of stuff going on, or really just in your country in general to propagate supply rating is always a good thing. Because there's, there's the production facility itself, and then there's the supply rating of the hex. So in order for the production to be high, you need to have supply in the hex in order to make that production high. And that comes from building infrastructure, having supply depots, having you know a, a complex or a city nearby, of course, to propagate that supply to begin with. 
Um, barracks do it, airfields and airport, air, air, air bases do it, seaports, sea piers, those all propagate supply. Building, building, building. Building, building, building. Okay, so I put a bunch of those down. They cost like half a million dollars a piece. Yeah, we're, we're getting a little bit of supply it. up here now. Clean coal no military. Technology. That will reduce your uh, power from coal plants, just FYI. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Air defense sites, give me. I'm also burning oil. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we have clean coal technology. Okay, go ahead and start putting oil on those motherfuckers. <laughs> I've just, I, I built some oil oil fired plants, some coal fired plants, and uh, one of those hydro plants is, is constructing, and it is almost done. Another twenty eight days in all. Yes, come at me, Merchant Marine. Give you a message about military unit being completed. No, because it's a building; it's not a unit. Are they, are they are they merchant marining again? They are. They're trying to. They're like, oh, Germany's taking territory. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they sound like bitches. <laughs> the Russians are bitches. Take it, Sergey. One, <laughs> one of my submarines <laughs> has ninety-four kills. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of drowned Russian corpses. That's just the ships too. That's not like the personnel. <laughs> Yeah, those are those are individual ships. Let's see, this one's at 14, 29, 30, 36, 32, and 5. That's a few hundred ships sunk. Who are you? Angola. Uh nope, rejecting that, bitch. The hydro thing has a supply meter. All provinces have the supply meter. Correct. So you, you can click around, you can see it, it it changes, but I mean, let's see. Some some places are in per, in lower supply. Um so like we go over here, the supply is really high. It doesn't like specific an issue anyone. In fact, like this one's constructing perfectly fine. I'm thinking you reconnect the Discord, Ben. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, thank God it's not just me. Uh, it's been like the last like five minutes. Am I robotic? It's a been lot. a while. It's been a while. Very. Yeah, Kingdom of Jesus Space Trace. Well, oh, Hurricane. Oh, I heard from that as well. Hurricane. <laughs> I, think yeah. had, I think he's in trouble, guys. We need to dispatch help. <laughs> Yeah, the Baltus can be super fortified by the time I'm ready to attack Russia. I think I'm going to do the same, actually. You guys are cutting out a lot for me. I believe Mordred. You got to bring, you gotta bring him in, Bob. Huh? You got to bring what? him in. Mordred left bring... to reconnect. Oh. Because we don't have those permissions, right. remember? Yes, that's yes. right. <laughs> But Ben needs to do the same still. I gotta do what? You gotta reconnect to the Discord. That's how I just disconnect and reconnect? Yep. Alright, don't talk shit about him. <laughs> terrible, terrible person. <laughs> Bob, help me. Uh, help you with what? What's going on? Okay, okay, we're good now. Were you just, were you just screaming for help from the general Discord? No, no, no. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> No, 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 I was making sure you could drag me back over Russian fighters! Italy has successfully researched nuclear weapons production. I'll support that. Pay no mind. <laughs> what Nothing can possibly go wrong with that. Unit. Yes, that's correct. One, one merchant marine is one 57%. Military. Slowly climbing up. What's 57%, Bob? My, my tree integrity rating. Oh, okay. After the great betrayal of France. <laughs> oh. Maybe these Baltic Club states alert. finally like... No, not real. Or Balkan states, not... No, oh, these guys are still all pissed off at me. Switzerland is the only one so far who has been like, Yeah, I'll forgive you, Germany. Oh, 
island. Well, the response against island has not been as fierce. I don't think it was uh, integral to their to their plans. And it's pr it doesn't look like it's going to be as useful. Like, yeah, you're you're nearer to them, but you have to deal with you know, it's Finland. It's not necessarily right next to uh, Russian <laughs> mainland. Strategically <laughs> crucial, Estonia. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. Look at how much supplies in Estonia. There is a shit ton of supply in Estonia. <laughs> they want they they fucking yeah, want that. There is. <laughs> it's almost neon red. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it is about this place. I mean, there's an air base, supply depot, city, town, 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 town. Well, they do have a lot of towns crammed really close together right there. So I don't know why Helsinki's having such a problem, though. Let's see, reserve. I need more AA up here. Yeah, all you need systems. Is broken. The province is broken. <laughs> what? Yeah, because like I could build other stuff on top of it, but that never appears. So I th think there's there's like this here like layered over on top of each other, and you don't something some. And there's no other I think way to Ben's look having at a this problem. problem. That's all I'm getting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you basically cut out for your entire sentence there. Bro, I'm going to have I'm going to have to 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 call it quits then after this episode if you guys can't hear me. How far are we into this episode right now? 12 minutes. So we got yeah. maybe to 12 more minutes if you want to do the bare minimum. Hold hang Sounds in there, reasonable. Ben. You can do this. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an America's over here. just a great, just a wealth of technological patents that I can just keep buying. They, they don't seem to give a shit. It's <laughs> just like, oh, I'll pay you this much for it. Ah, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> here, take them. If I had some more money to blow, I probably would be doing the same. But I'm still trying to build up my industry and my raw materials, mostly the industry now. And power. I'm having to build loads of power plants. Should probably see if there's some more power technology. I will assume there is. There it is. <laughs> yes, come on out, Air Force. Come out to play. I got meads for you. You have mead? No. <laughs> <laughs> call a crusade against ISIL that's not I don't think like the best thing to call that I mean the probe's been pretty quiet since I took over but then again we haven't really let any food into the Vatican so it's just kind of <laughs> <laughs> somebody's alive in there we keep hearing scratching on the walls though so. it might be a raccoon though <laughs> much of police for help in Latin <laughs> we don't know what it means though yeah all the warsaws come up here over to Looks Ireland like Russia's pulling back from Latvia all of their tanks are going back to Riga that might mean they're staging for from Riga to go and attack Latvia or also Lithuania possible. certainly also possible <laughs> Could could it could it be that it's almost time for uh, attacking uh, attacking Ben then through that line? No, I think they're going to go through Belarus still. I'm going to laugh so hard. I would love that. I would love it so much. <laughs> All his defense money pissed away after the defense minister was like, "No, no, no! It really isn't the best idea. Don't worry." They never come through Belarus. <laughs> Even though they've seen us build this thing for years. They, they, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. 
And they bomb it on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, the Magonaut line. <laughs> Okay, all you cruisers gather. Actually, we could probably go. There's actually plenty of naval presence over there already near the Estonian National Park. We could probably go ahead and pull everything we got over to the island. It'd be great if you could get to uh, to Crimea, hit him one two punch. <laughs> like, like Crimea. Take... I don't know. That's a little far away from any sort of supply bases I got. Well, if you two have this, I might pull the Portuguese back so I don't have to pay for them. I'm still trying to recover my economy. Well, Ben's subs have really got the, the Merchant Marine on lock. Alright, I'm going to pull back then. Let me know if you do launch an invasion, because I can help you ashore bombardment. Well, what I'm thinking of doing maybe is just like poking and prodding through like the Swedish wilderness into Finland. Okay. Just like with some infantry, because that would draw them up there and essentially trap their military up there while they respond to it. Because right, if you do the supply map mode, there's like nobody there. There's no supply. But you wouldn't have any supply either. No, I'd have Swedish supply available to me. Mm. And I would only need like one or two units to, to poke up there. If it was I've, a, if I've it got all sorts a... of transport panzer. Yeah. Actually, I like that idea. We're going to do that. Denmark, what, do you, what are your thoughts on me? Eh, you're neutral. <laughs> We're not sure, but you're pretty big. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe not that far. Let's do some free trade and free flow of labor force between me and Denmark, see if they like me more. What's my treaty rating at now? 57.2. It's going up, so it's good. Yes, launch the satellite. I don't know what it was, but... <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> Sir, ready to launch. Do it! And if I can get transit rights through Denmark. Line of sight? No, not line of sight. Just full transit treaty then. Because I could take the road, the highway, all the way up there. Yeah, like we've already got some arty that we can put up there, so we'll do that. And then, where is my... Amazing, awesome Bundeswehr forces. Uh, some recon would be good. We'll take a few Panzers with us. The older Panzers, though. The newer Panzers we'll keep in the garage. Hmm. Set you a trade, uh, by the way, Bob. Oh, I will look at it in a moment. Artie's on its way. And we'll take a few transport Panzers. Italy wants what? What do you want? Integrate air defense. I'm pretty sure I have that already. I'm I'm asking for it. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> oh, request it. Okay. And I'm offering you holographic storage. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Only because I need the likes, though. I'm offering you holocrons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Switzerland needs me to feed them. <laughs> well, do you like us more? Or do we need to keep the French away from supplying oh. you with grain? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I will. I will. I will do this only for the likes. If you go check out my Instagram, I will give you food. <laughs> <laughs> Just holds over like a, a slut, like a slice of ham or something like that. Hey, you want this? You want this? <laughs> They go follow me on Twitter. Or is... <laughs> mm, they're all leaving a merchant marine. Okay, all right, fine. Oh, that's Russian airborne elite. That's not just a garrison. Yeah, get bent. Oh, did I ever finish Special Forces? Is that still on the thing? I think it is. Yes. 
Well, in about two months, there will be German special forces available, and then I can really just like penetrate deep into Russian lines. In fact, what I could do is I could infiltrate through Finland and then get, like, get to Moscow. Nice. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be one hell of a walk, but they could do it. Just take like reactors offline and shit. That'd be amazing. Destroy the Russian power grid. Yeah, you know it. Sound better now. Yeah, well, it's extremely annoying when I'm talking at all, <laughs> then then you guys can't hear me. <laughs> which which is, is like most of the time now, apparently. So we should probably just call it. Hey Ben. Take a look at your trades. What? What? I don't know what any. I don't know what these words are. <laughs> <laughs> What's your literacy rating in Poland? What? Like. Good. Eighty-six percent. You're more literate than the Dutch. You should be able to. <laughs> Making me pay for them. You're not just gonna give them to me. I'm, to, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna just. I'm taking one tech from you, for God's sakes. Take the. You're getting thirty. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what any of them do. Roach, have you heard of the Prime Directive? Well, you know, it, it, here's my here's my mindset behind this. If if Poland dies, that or if Poland gets invaded and take, taken over by Russia, that means Germany is very close to being taken over by Russia as well. Because there's like I don't know how how close is that border? Like like 64 kilometers from berlin oh yeah so like if poland is strong germany stays around which i can then continue to trade with germany which is the whole reason i'm a part of this accord because sooner or later isis is gonna look at the mediterranean and i'm gonna need some some help hmm Oh, but the common foe is Russia. Not, so we have a very yes, of course, of course, this is Russia. We must we must defeat the great evil of Russia first. I mean, I hey, I've been providing technology. I mean, just ask Ben. I've gave him a shitload of things. He doesn't know what the hell they are. I, I don't know what any <laughs> of them do. It's just the Italians just handing the polos, the poles, like these boxes with question marks on them and like crazy designs. <laughs> What he's, is got, he's got some modern tanks now, or at least he's got t he's got uh, O2 technology for tanks. So, so well, he can I've been building leopards for a long time. Yeah, leopards are like 1970 era tanks, though. They go... You hear that, Bobby? Called your tanks pussies. Well, no, I mean, I the older ones are. Yeah, the older ones are. <laughs> I think that's the one that I gave you. Was that one? Let me yeah, see they, here. you should be able to I mean, tank, like tank. Wait, you're not building leopards. Oh, wait, no, I don't see that because I have that tech ready. Yeah, I... I, I, I what sir, model sir, Leopard? Leopard 2A5. Yeah, 2A5. That's, a little, that's a little older. It's better than the T-72s I had. I can funnel my tanks. They're <laughs> domestically produced. I don't, I don't have a lot of things going for me here, guys. Made with strong I... Polish steel. I don't know. You can't That's... actually, you can't actually like determine the quality of the units that you do produce to build them faster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Being that Polish, I know all about that. <laughs> yeah, sell all ex excess supplies. Mordor, your subs are up here still too, by the way. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Um, the ones outside Riga is because Poland wasn't defending that area, oh. yeah, and they do keep trying to sail out there every now and then. How do you import electricity? I mean, you can export it, like, you can, I mean... I don't well, think electricity like... is, like, it's not a commodity you can buy, it's just, if you need more of it, you just buy it from the market. Yeah, but no, I can export it though. Like I'm, I'm exporting seventy two, uh, yeah. seventy five barrels and thousand barrels. Yeah, is. something of like, electricity. I, I I like to think of it as a liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Liquidized well, electricity. Electricity. I, how am I how electricity getting to China? 
for, for some reason, the way you described the liquid electricity reminds me of uh, there was a Rick and Morty episode recently that was uh, Rick was it, uh, they, there was something to deal with toxins and they, their their personalities got sucked into their toxic selves and they had to they had to live in that dimension and they made t- and Rick was like I just made I just made the toxic woman with electricity Morty and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just sold two billion dollars worth of couches. <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> I sold a bunch of consumer goods. Um, somebody might invade Lithuania and attack Russia direct. That okay? Couch. I don't think Would they you un- like to cover that. They don't understand the tactical situation. If that's. <laughs> I'm the one who would be immediately describe. Uh, I think we like literally just went over it, didn't we? About like you know, Poland falling, and then you know Germany being next. Well, I just thought maybe you know like Romania would be a good example. <laughs> if, if we just take Bulgaria and fortify this small place, everything will be fine. Let's just, just uh, oh, that's a bad market for that. Don't do. That. I insult Road. She gives me more technology. I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think I saw stealth technology in there. I don't know what that is. What do you mean, also, be sneaky? If, if if enemy see me, you also have. Uh... Silos as well now. For a second there, I thought you said you were going to say Cylons, and I was like, okay, I'm on board. No, just, <laughs> you have no, just, just nuclear <laughs> missile silos. Very well, I accept. Oh, assholes back on the production binge again. I got to record another set of Battlestar sometime soon. Oh, there's a legit. Oh, no, wait, is that a Dutch ship? Yeah, it's a Dutch ship. Yeah, it's a Dutch ship. I was thinking, like, oh, there's, like, a Russian ship out here. So where did they build that? All right. That's the end of the episode. Uh, who was it? This was me. So thank you, everyone, for watching. We do hope that you're enjoying it. If you are, hit that subscribe button. If you want to support our channels a bit further, check out the Patreons, which we all have now. You can find a link to that in the description below. And also check out the other perspectives as well if you want to see how things are going from other people's view. That's a goodbye from all of us here, and we'll catch you next time. Goodbye. See you later. Bye.